Hey Pumpers, how you doing? This is Greg from Pump Revolution. So tonight I have the brand new uh, Niche Vector. Um, so Niche has been around for a few years now. They've been making uh, very, very high-end autococker style markers. Uh, they first came out with a Nemesis, which is a, um, <clears throat> it's, you know, an autococker with a pump kit. Uh, and it, I think it came with a front block too. You could put the pneumatics on and mech it out. So it was semi-auto. Uh, but that was the one that had the really cool squiggly line going down the side. And then uh, they also came out with, um, <clears throat> I guess probably about a year ago, they announced the the Element, which uh, is like another style high end. It's still all the same, you know, quality machining and, and whatnot. But they did all kinds of really cool uh, hand engravings and different milling patterns on them just to kind of really just just make them very unique and very, very cool. Um, <clears throat> however, uh, they did, uh, they did kind of announce that, <clears throat> that they were going to be coming out with the vector, something that was going to be aimed at, um, the not high end market. Um, but in doing so, they wanted to come out with a, they wanted to develop a gun that <clears throat> is going to be able to suit a lot of, a lot of different people's needs, but still be affordable. So, uh, they came out with the Vector, and uh, basically, uh, in short, this guy's going to sell for 400 bucks in that range. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> this here, this is the uh, this is one of the the first run of 30. This is the pro. This is one of the prototypes, um, and this guy here uh, went for four went for 450. Um, it should have an. Uh, it has this slide frame, and it's also going to get a uh, uh, a typical pivot frame that uh, that that's going to come at a later date. So anyway, so I want to kind of dive into some of the features of this gun. So <clears throat> first and foremost, uh, taking this thing out of the box, I mean, it does not. This does not feel like a four hundred dollar pump gun at all. I mean, this is. It's solid. It's very high quality. You can feel it. The anodizing is nice and thick and very smooth. Um, <clears throat> and it has just a lot of really nice features. So first and foremost, you have the barrel here. So let's take this off and we'll check it out. So this is actually a, uh, it's a two piece freak board barrel. Um, comes apart. It's got a bunch of, uh, it's got a lot of threads on it, but um, so you can slide your uh, so you can slide a freak insert in the back there, and then um, you know shoot people, which is uh, pretty awesome. <coughs> the other cool thing about this is that it has a it has a nice uh, it just has a nice porting pattern on the front. Uh, I don't know how loud or how loud or how quiet it is yet. I haven't really had a chance to shoot it, uh, but we'll definitely um, we'll definitely do some uh, some shooting videos. Uh, possibly tomorrow if the weather's nice. So, uh, some of the other cool features about this thing uh, comes with a clamping feed neck, um, <clears throat> and if you look here, there's two screws on it, so you can unscrew it and take this thing off. And I assume you can put another another style feed neck on, maybe a taller one, maybe a shorter one. Um, I don't know, but it's uh, it's fairly low profile. I'd say it's probably akin to uh the ccm ones that are about an inch and a half tall so um the uh it also features the slice pump uh pump handle which these things are cool uh you can take these apart and you can take out you can have as many or as, as few of these sections as as you want uh, stock it comes with six sections plus the two end caps but you can buy more sections and make it really long you can take some sections out and make it a little shorter so you can configure it however you want um, the frame is very very comfortable uh, it's 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 it's, aer it's it's very ergonomic uh, it has these nice little finger grooves in so you, you can really get a good a good grip on it um, <clears throat> the grip panels I guess these are, are they feel like they're plastic. Um, I haven't taken them off to really look inside of it. I really haven't had the time, but um, <coughs> they look nice. They feel solid. There's not, you know, they don't feel cheap or chintzy or anything about it. Um, 
uh, this gun comes stock with auto trigger, as you can see here. Uh, they have the, their logo uh, machined into the into the auto trigger arm here, and then there's bubble bubble stickers on either side of the <clears throat> of the grip. So it's uh, there's definitely some some classy branding on the gun as well. Uh, if you look at the back, if you notice, the tube is kind of grooved around the sled. So uh, I don't know if that really is a is a function or if that's a style thing, but uh, I mean it just it looks nice, um, and it's definitely a very very smooth gun. I mean this is right out of the box, and this is just amazingly smooth. Um, I haven't really uh, I haven't gotten into the into the pump handle yet. I understand the the, uh, the niche markers, the higher end ones have uh, bearings in here somewhere to make it really, really smooth. I don't know if that's true with the vector or not. I haven't really gotten in that far. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, it's definitely a very smooth shooting marker. Um, so a couple of nice features, uh, over and above what you see. Um, <clears throat> so in here it has a, uh, it has a ball detent in here. Uh, it comes up from the bottom like in the CCMs. It's a spider detent it looks like. Again, I haven't taken the thing apart. Um, <clears throat> I know CCM went to the uh, O-ring style uh, detents, but uh, I mean, realistically, I haven't had, I don't go through ball detents fast enough to even really care about what type of ball detent is in it. Um, I just keep a couple spider ones on hand and a couple of the right size O-rings on hand. Um, and then, you know, we're good to go. Uh, one thing worth noting is this does have a uh, Pops ASA on there. That's not included in the package. You can add it on there for, it's like an extra 50 bucks or something. So, um, <clears throat> you know, so you have that option as well to, to add in there. Or you can put on whatever you want. Uh, I believe this, uh, it, it, yeah, it is cut for a, it is cut for a T slot. So you can put on a, a, any of the Empire ones, or there's a couple other cool T slot ASAs out there that you can slide on there. So that's kind of nice. It's probably also drilled for, <clears throat> for standard ASAs as well, but, uh, I don't know for sure. I definitely have to delve into this a little bit, uh, further than what I've had. So, um, the bolt disassembly, uh, or the, uh, the bolt assembly is pretty straightforward, something similar like what you would see on the T2. Um, this is a white Delrin bolt. Um, you know, nothing fancy. It's got a notch for the ball detent, so you're not chewing off your ball detents. Nice big opening for the airport. Um, <clears throat> one thing I didn't really get too wild about was uh, the, the ball bearing in there, the spring-loaded ball bearing that holds the pin. Uh, there's a hole in the back, so if that thing decides it's going to cut loose one day, it's going to shoot right out the back, and you're probably never going to see it again. But um, I assume that they did that, so it's easy to replace it if it, you know, if it does indeed uh, shoot out of there, or maybe easy to clean or something like that. Um, <clears throat> so it it really looks like the disassembly of the marker. Um, it, it looks like it's fairly straightforward and simple. Um, so there's a set screw here. I assume you take this off and then this back cap pops off. And then um, down here in the feed neck, there's a, there's a screw and then there's another screw underneath of this hole. And then that should take off the top section of the body. Um, I don't know if that's gonna hold true with the, with the future iterations of the vector or not. Um, there's been talk of <clears throat> of some design changes where the new ones won't have a two-piece body. The new ones may have a valve tube uh, to, to hold the valve in here instead of, uh, you know, the machined area for the valve. So uh, definitely, um, there's definitely some potential uh, changes coming down the pike. Oh, there's something I didn't notice. They also have the, the uh, niche logo here right on the front of the feed neck. That's kind of a nice touch too, so... Um, <clears throat> so a lot of you guys wanted to, you wanted to know about the weight and the size of it. So this gun is very, very compact. Um, it's, uh, I, I, I put this thing up against, uh, next to my empire sniper and one of my T2s and it's definitely shorter. Uh, and I'll show you here in a second. Uh, so he, so weight 
it comes in at nine point uh, two pounds nine point two ounces out of the box so it's uh, it's not super heavy uh, but it's not uh, it's not the lightest pump I've seen it's not but it's not the, the heaviest I've seen either so just for so just for some uh, comparison here let's uh, grab a couple other uh, pump guns here and we can compare them for size so <clears throat> the most probably the most obvious comparison style wise is going to be with the t2 <clears throat> so here we have my awesome green brown and polished pewter t2 and if we put this guy right over top of it i guess it's probably about the same size Maybe, well the, the body's short the body is definitely shorter um, it's not as tall as the T2, so, uh, the pump handle is, is bigger, um, and the ASA kind of tilts in a little bit. So it's, <clears throat> it's a little bit smaller than a T2, definitely shorter than a T2. So that's, that's a plus for those of you guys who like to go and get into, uh, tight places. Now let's make a, a comparison to the Empire Sniper. Ugh, says a uh, pain on it. I don't know how that happened. So anyway, so uh, here we have my Ripper Sniper, and let's line it up here. Um, so I'm lining these guys up uh, ASA to ASA, just so you can get an idea. So, <clears throat> so this is definitely quite a bit shorter. There's probably, if we actually put this thing up, you know, IVG to IVG here. Or, well, end of the the back of the body to the back of the body. Uh, it's definitely quite a bit shorter. I mean, there's probably an inch and a half less body there. Um, as far as height, it's, eh, I'd say it's probably a good half inch shorter than, than the Empire Sniper. So, uh, so there you go from a, uh, from a size comparison. Um... As far as uh, you know, functionality of the marker, uh, it's man, it definitely it definitely feels good. Um, the uh, the pump stroke is just amazingly smooth. The trigger stroke is nice and smooth. Auto trigger is nice and smooth. And and this is right out of the box. The gun's not even broken in, and it's uh, just really a nice shooter already. Uh, I am definitely looking forward to putting some paint through it and, um, <clears throat> you know, just seeing, you know, checking out the consistency, the efficiency, um, just how it feels when you're shooting it. So, um, anyway, uh, if, uh, you guys have any questions or you want to see something, uh, let us know and we'll gladly take a picture or take some additional video. Um, <clears throat> as I said, we're going to try and do another shooting video tomorrow. <clears throat> try and figure out, you know, how, you know, how, how loud is the gun? How quiet is the gun? How does it feel when you're actually shooting it? So forth and so on. So, um, this is Greg from Pump Revolution and this is our overview of the Niche Vector.